Hi, and welcome to Spreadsheets, Module A, Homework Number 3. There are four worksheets. The first one I'm in is called Complex Formula. So if we look at this one, we'll see this is the first quarter one sales for the Northeast region for January, February, and March. And then we're going to add those three and then subtract the returns. So click in G6 equals and we're going to add the three months, January, February, and March. So click C6 plus D6 plus E6 and then minus the returns, F6. And as you notice, the range is all color coordinated so that the first one is in blue. The next range in this uh, math operation formula is red, purple, and green. So you can follow the range. And there it is up in the formula. And then go ahead and check. And you can either fill handle, drag it down, or just double click on it, and it fills all of them in. And if you look at your formula, it'll be the same one, just changing the row. So that's relative cell, relative cell reference. So we'll click in here to find the smallest total amount, and that's from column G. So we'll go to the auto sum down arrow and choose minimum, which is also smallest. And just make sure you reselect the proper range, G6 to G13. And what is the largest, which would be the maximum. And again, make sure you select the proper range, G6 to G13. And this one's a little different. It's the monthly average of all stores. So you'll click the down arrow, average, and you're going to select from C6 all the way over and down to E13, and you'll get the average for all the stores. And in this one, we want to have um, find out what the bonus payment day is. So for the formula for this one, it's going to be um, plus 30 days from the closing date. So you'll start with equals. And then I'm just going to press the up arrow, and that'll select B17 plus 30 days. And it should be April 30th. For today's date, click in here, and the formula for today's calculated date is formulas, date and time, today, there's your formula, equals today, open, close parentheses, and OK. Then click to the next worksheet called count, and you should be in B12, and we just want a total. Remember, you can use your auto sum from here in the formula. Um, tab or you can go back and click it from here but I'm not going to do either one I'm going to just use alt equals and it should be the sum of b5 to b11 and enter so this one is a little different it's number of ingredients so if you look here you can pretty much count it there's seven of them there's an actual formula to count how many items that there are there are in um, and, and in a certain range, so you don't have to actually manually count them. So in the uh, auto sum down arrow, we've used sum, average, max, and min, but we've never done this one, count numbers. So it's actually going to count the numbers, not, a, not a adding them up, count how many numbers are in each of the cells. So go ahead and click that. It's going just a little too far. It's going to total, and that's not one of the ingredients. So I'm just going to reselect. So it's only B5 through B11. And once I press enter, I get seven. So it counted seven items in that range B5 to B11. And we'll go to combine. So in column A, you see the country code. So I'm going to make that a little bigger so you can see the country code. And column B is the telephone number. So in C, I want to combine those in the same one. So I'll show you um, first the new way of doing it, and then I'll show you the old way. So the new way, you'll, you'll start off your first one, parentheses, 61, close parentheses. I like to press space bar, and then 212-555-0167. Then when I get ready to start my next one, it picks up my um, pattern, and you just press enter. So that's the new way that Excel puts in um, where it recognizes a pattern. The old way, it was part of a formula. So what you would have to do is press equals, and then you would click A2, and then um, I want that um, with a space bar, so I'd press space bar. And then to combine it, I would have to press Shift 7, the ampersand, and then click B2, and then go ahead and check mark. 
and there it is, and I would drag it down. So it's actually a formula to combine A2 and B2. Um, of course, the newer way is a lot quicker and, and easier. And the last one in transpose. So we have um, sales by region, and you have the different areas, and then the quarters. And that's like someone said, you know what, we should have the column heading should be quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and the rows should be the um, regions. So to do that, all you would do is select everything, go back home, click copy, and then I'm just going to go to A10, and I'm going to click the down arrow for the paste option, and there's actually one called transpose, and I'll click that. So it switched it so it's by quarters for the columns, and then it took, and you can see that for quarter one, it's the same amount, and for Asia. So, and then you could actually um, delete these. And if I select everything here and just delete, um, I can just click this delete here and it brings everything back up. And there you have it. So that's a save and submit. Thank you.